Hi Aries, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my existing subscribers and a very warm welcome if you are new here. Cross watchers, you are also welcome. So, you can have a look in the description box for all the details regarding personal readings and donating and all the rest of it. But let's just jump into your reading today and see what messages we've got for you guys. I hope you're all doing really, really well. We're just going to be doing a very short reading today. Just to see what's influencing you and what your blockage is and how you can get over that blockage. Okay. So we've got the Eight of Swords coming out in reverse. The Eight of Swords upright is all about feeling trapped, feeling imprisoned by your own thoughts or by things that people have said. So in the reverse, it's saying that you're feeling free. You found your way out of those thoughts that have been going round and round in your head and keeping you trapped. You need to find your way out. This is what you're wanting to do. You're wanting to find your way out of feeling trapped within some thoughts in your mind. And what's influencing, what's crossing you, sorry, is the Queen of Wands. This is your confidence. This is creativity. She's really bold. She is not afraid of putting herself out there. And I think this is what the message is here for you, Aries, is that in order to free yourself from this feeling of feeling stuck and feeling trapped, you need to be bold. You need to get out there. You need to show yourself. You need to be confident connect to your almost shamanistic side I'm seeing here with this Queen of Wands particularly in this deck. Now she's glowing. So this is how you are going to free yourself from this trapped feeling that you're going through at the moment. You are going to be stepping out, or you need to step out, into the limelight. Put yourself out there. Put your work out there. And really just feel that huge confidence. So she is passionate. She's also very sensual, the Queen of Wands. And extremely creative, as I said. And so it's just all about being joyful. I mean, you can see the big smile she's got on her face. She's joyful. She's putting herself out there boldly, expressing herself without any fear. And of course, she is a queen. So she feels powerful. She's not afraid to put herself out there at all. Okay. So... This is your message. Stand tall and proud and bold and confident. When the Queen of Wands walks into a room, she is seen by everybody. Her energy is felt by everybody. So this is what you need to be. You need to step into this energy in order to get yourself out of this prison that you've put yourself in. Okay. In the traditional Eight of Swords, there is that opening. You know, she's, is, she is in the middle of a circle, almost like a semicircle of swords. And there is a piece where she can walk through. There's an opening that she can walk through. So you need to just find the confidence to actually get through those swords, those thoughts, they're only the thoughts in your mind and you can change them. Okay, so
beautiful, beautiful. This is a lovely Aries energy as well, this Queen of Wands. It's fire. It's all the stuff that you guys are made of. So you can do this. Okay. All right. So let's get a message now from this little book that I found in amongst all my things. You can see I used to use it a lot. My coffee cup mark is there and all sorts of things. But I haven't actually used it for a long time and I forgot that I actually had it. So there we go. It's called the Messiah's Handbook, Reminders for the Advanced Soul. So we're just going to hold it. So hold a question in your mind. Hold a question in your mind and we'll turn to a page and we'll see what your message is. Okay, so I'll just give you all a minute. There is no such thing as a problem without a gift for you in its hands. You seek problems because you need their gifts. Okay, so that is something for you to ponder over and you are welcome to screenshot that page and perhaps this is something you need to ponder over because you seem to be having these problems in the Eight of Swords which are keeping you trapped. So you need to look for the gift in this. Okay, so that is your message Aries. I wish you all well and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.